you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Peanut butter jelly. <laughs> yes, it's movie review time, and I just got back from Aladdin. Long story short, I loved it. I did. I loved it. I loved almost everything about it. Almost everything. I thought the beginning, like I was like, oh, I hope this isn't gonna be a little slow. I was, it was losing me a little, and like moves me a tiny bit in the beginning. Once Will Smith came, Will Smith, it was like nonstop. Loved every moment. Loved all the songs. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they say about the new songs, the speechless song, and all that. I love this speechless song. People, because I did a reaction for it, and people were like. Oh, the song's great. I just didn't like the placement in the movie. So I was going in there like, let me pay attention and see if that does it for me. Am I going to like this song? Am I going to like the placement in the movie of the song? What? So there was like two places. One was when, you know, they were like the beginning. She sung a little bit of it when the, the dad was like, oh, you know, you got to marry this and that, that. So a little bit was there. But then the other part was when they was going to bring her to the dungeon. And not, and I was like, why don't people like this? They just stuck on. The, they just wanted to hear the old songs from the Aladdin movie and no new stuff. I loved it. I thought the song was beautiful. I thought that Naomi sang it beautiful. I thought it went with the movie well. They crazy. They crazy. I, I thought it was great. Will Smith is the genie. I mean, it's hard to it's hard to fill those shoes with when with the late Robin Williams doing the genie. I mean, he was perfect. You think of the genie, you think of him. But Will Smith took it and made it his own. <laughs> I was rude. like, and when he first came up here and you hear Will Smith's voice, I was like, oh law, because I love me some Will Smith. And when he first came on, I was like, oh, I hear, oh, here's the genie, and, and all I couldn't think is. Is some where once was a story all about how I was like, oh no, but that quickly left my mind, and I was like, he's the genie. We're going through what I was like, he is the genie. There ain't nobody can tell me up in this movie, that's the genie, and he played it perfectly. He played, I thought Aladdin was great, I thought Jasmine was excellent. I love Jasmine in this, she was excellent. Now, everybody had a problem with the Jafar, Jafar. Yes, I mean, he doesn't look like him. They said this Jafar is like whiny and this and that. I didn't find it like that whiny. He wasn't like the typical character you think from the original. Like it wasn't the typical, it wasn't old like he's supposed to be in the original. It wasn't this and that like it was in the original. But I'm like, it don't, it didn't bother me. That's what I'm saying. It didn't bother me. I thought it was fine. You hated him. You hate Javar in the original. Yeah, I didn't like him in this one. He was the villain. When you, if you don't like him that much, that means he's a good villain. You hate, I can't stand that Jafar in the movie. That's, that, he's doing his job. <laughs> That's what I think he's doing his job. He don't look old like the Jafar is supposed to look, but I think he did the job. You hated him. He did the job. The visuals in this. Oh my Lord, the visual. I loved every visual part and, the, the colors and when they was doing the little parade coming up in the sit and, and he's on the elephant. I was like, ah! <laughs> you know, I love my love dances and all that stuff. I love that. I love the costumes. You know, I'm going to get me an indie costume. Like I need myself some indie outfits that I need to do my Bollywood re reactions to. And then when I was watching this, I mean, I just couldn't stop looking at the outfits. I was like, especially Jasmine's, I was like, oh, I got, girl, I need to get me one of those. Like I was, <laughs> I was shopping. <laughs> I was wanting to shop watching this. So like the, the everything visually beautiful. I thought the acting was beautiful. I loved how they, like the red car, like even the genie, like going around, supposed to be a genie with the, it it didn't the CGI didn't look cheesy for to me, and I was worried because you didn't really see much of the red or the the red carpet, the magic carpet in the trailers. So I was like, how? I was like, that's gonna be cheesy. How can you not make that look cheesy? I think they did it. I didn't feel that was cheesy. I didn't. 
I was, it, it, everything I thought fit in perfectly. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. The only problem I had a few like slowish moments, like especially in the beginning, like for me, it didn't really pick up until like Will Smith came into it. But overall, I really liked it. I did. I thought it was great. I give it a four out of five. Four out of five. It would have been higher, maybe a five out of five. If that's what I said, it wasn't kind of slow in the beginning. I wanted to see more genie <laughs> faster on less like, I, and that's probably the parts that really like Jafar like when they're doing the whole cave bit and that whole thing I'm like <sighs> maybe that's the parts that didn't like the salt and even the salt guy I was just like <sighs> like Jasmine's bad like he didn't impress me that much so that they, there was a few little strikes there I was like all right nine to five out of five I was Kind of like looking at my watch a little bit in the beginning. But that's why I said once Will came on, Will stole, for me, he stole the show. Almost. Almost. Because Jasmine was number two. I thought she was awesome. But them two, they stole it. Stole it for me. Sold the movie. My daughter came with me. She loved it. We was all, like, I kept looking at her. She was, like, looking at the screen, smiling and laughing. The songs come on. We'd be dancing. It was fun. Guy Ritchie and I and I can't believe this movie was directed by Guy this was a Guy Ritchie movie so not like typical of his other kind of movies so that's why I was like Guy Ritchie you got talent baby I used to have a crush on Guy Ritchie and now I'm like oh I'm starting to feel those little crushes again Guy Ritchie you did it you did this Aladdin was a was was a high high one for me you pulled off some Aladdin you did it for me Guy Ritchie those are little feelings are starting to come back. All right, y'all. So, yeah, four out of five. I suggest definitely going to see it. I didn't see it in 3D, but I did ask. I was like, should we see it? Like, beforehand, we're talking about, should we see it in 3D? And they were like, ah. I kind of wish I did. Because some of the genie parts I thought would be cool, the magic carpet parts I think would be cool in 3D. So, if anybody saw it in 3D, let me know what you thought. I want to know that. Do I have to go back and see this in 3D? Because that's, that's that's some high dollars, those 3D movies. <laughs> so, should I go back and see this in 3D? Anyway, 4 to 5, loved it. A plus, a thumbs up, all that from me. Hope y'all liked it too. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Till next time. Bye, y'all.